Today I want to show you five awesome tricks on how to make your slideshow more fun and interesting. Hello my friends and let's get started. So the first trick I want to show you is how to put text into a slide in a very interesting way. Uh, let's assume you have a picture like this where there's a lot of stuff going on in the background but still you want to put some text. So the way we're going to do this is let's select our background layer and then click on live filters down here, live filters and select Gaussian blur filter. We want to click on alpha, preserve alpha, that's important and then just pull it over as you can see, we have a lot of blur here, but we are not done yet. We have one more step to do, which is really important. We use our rectangle tool over here, rectangle tool. Just pull any kind of rectangle onto your background, uh, onto your canvas, I wanted to say. And then click on the rectangle layer, right click on the rectangle layer and uh, select mask to below. You can see this will convert our rectangle into a mask, but we can still change its size. So that's really cool for us. And I'm going to zoom out for a second. And you can see I will make this a lot bigger than our original picture. And then what I'm going to do is I click up here on this little white dot where it allows me to rotate. I will hold my shift key on the keyboard. So this gives me iterations for the rotation. So hold the shift key, move your mouse a little bit and you see the first one is 15 degrees. So that's really good. That's a nice position and we can move this still around so we can really um, decide how much text do we need on our picture. And you can see now we still have an interesting picture to look at but we also have a blurred area where we can put text and that text is still very readable. So let's write this is London. You can see it looks great and you can read the text really easy. So that's a very quick and nice way to do this. But you might not like this kind of trick. So I want to show you a different way to do this. So let's delete our Gaussian blur. And you can see now text is not very easy to read. So the thing we're going to do is again, we are going to use our rectangle tool and I'm going to set it to black and I'm going to pull out again a big rectangle like this and I will set it to, let's say, 25 degrees uh, of 25% of opacity. So with this opacity, what we can do again, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, make this a lot bigger. And again, I'm going to hold my shift key and rotate this a little bit, but we are not done yet. There is more to this. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this where I wanted to start and then I'm going to hold my control key and move this over a little bit. And this means it's going to create a copy of that layer. I can do that again and again until my picture is getting darker and darker. And of course, you can decide here in what kind of distances you want to have this. So for example, this distance is not equal to the other distances. So you can see here also with these numbers, you can make it really in an equal distance that's very nice um, and easy to do. And now we have a nice, um, how can I say, design, shape design that will help us put text in the picture, but at the same time, it looks really cool. It looks really nice as a fading out effect to the side. So this is a nice effect. And of course, you can combine both of these effects together if you want to, um, to make it even look better. Okay, so this was the second trick of how to make your slideshows more interesting. Let's delete these layers. And the next thing is what if you have a lot of pictures like this, for example, where you know your screen is white, 16 to 9 white screen, but those are vertical, so they are not following the shape. And you have a lot of these pictures. What you can do is to combine them into one picture. So that's pretty nice. And what we're going to do to achieve that is I will um, pull out two helplines, two guidelines. Um, so if you don't see the ruler up here, go to view and 
here click on show ruler there has to be a hook here so you can see the ruler and now you can simply pull out some guidelines like this and I will put one here for example you can put them wherever you want you have complete freedom um, with that so now that I have my guidelines what I'm going to do is again use my rectangle tool and I will pull rectangles onto these positions let's change the color for each of them okay this might be a bit too extreme um, make another one down here let's go so let's make this blue for example and then we will pull another one down here let's make this orange and this is just to help us see where stuff is happening and now what we can do uh, first of all I want to pull these down below the rest of the layers now what we can do is we make our layers visible and we can pull them uh, where we think okay this might be a good position so like this for example you still see the guidelines that help you know where the border is and now what we can do is we just push this or pull this onto this layer so now this will be cut by our rectangle so that's pretty nice uh, let's use the other one here and we have a nice London bus here we could put it like this for example pull it onto our um, green rectangle and you can see here that's pretty nice and giving us a nice um, kind of look let's do the others too real quick uh, this is the orange one and then we have this here pull this over this I uh, will pull this down here and pull it onto our blue um, rectangle we can now hide our guides there we go and now you can see we have a nice combination or collage of our different views of the city so this can also be used as a nice tool um, to tell a story for example and of course you could still go in here and create lines uh, that separate those for example let's use the rectangle tool um, pull this like this yeah, maybe like this I will color this white and I'm going to move this down here so the guides will help me make this centered and uh, hold my control key and then hold my shift key to rotate this by 90 degrees and I can just put this up here there we go it's also centered and then make another one with my control key and drag to make another copy put this down here and you can see we have an interesting and nice design that tells us a story about the city and what we have seen and how we have traveled the city um, so this can be a really nice tool to make your uh, slideshow more interesting okay let's go to the next trick and that trick is how to create a polaroid look so this is also very nice i will do this just with one picture uh, for the polaroid um, look but you can do it for as many pictures as you want of course uh, let's drag this out delete the other layers real quick there we go also delete these layers there we go okay so now we have our background back and um, let's assume again we have a lot of these pictures the thing that you can do is again use your Gaussian blur tool to blur click on preserve alpha it's always important and now we're going to blur the background and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a polaroid look so we are going to use the rectangle tool hold the shift key and drag it out to make a square so that's our square and I will color this a little bit so I can see the shadows afterwards and now I'm going to duplicate this so we have two I will name the upper one inside and the lower one I will name outside there we go and now holding my um, holding my control key I can drag this out actually I have to 
change the color to white so I'm seeing what I'm doing. Holding the uh, control key, I can drag this out and I can see, you can see that this is um, mirroring the shape or the, the movement of my mouse and giving me a nice border that is equal on both sides or like in relation to the other side. Uh, so now that we have this shape, we can move it down a little bit so it looks more Polaroid-like. And the next thing we want to do is with the inside layer, click on Effects and click on Inner Shadow and then just create a little bit of a shadow. You can see here uh, just a bit, just a tiny hint of shadow in there. You can see like this. And then we are going to click on our outside layer effects again but now we are going to create an outer shadow so it's easy to remember outer layer is an outside shadow inner layer is an inside shadow you can create it like this if you want and now what we're going to do is select both of the layers Control G to create a group we can call the group polar there we go and the next thing the last step for this of course by the way, you can resize this any way you want because this is shapes. This is vector. It doesn't uh, depend on the size of um, the picture, the size of the shape. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to drag our picture on top of this and then pull it inside. On the inside um, layer, you can see now my picture is inside of the Polaroid. You can still move the layer around, by the way, so you can get any kind of look you want. And of course, you can duplicate this group and put in other pictures if you want. And like this, you can create a ton of interesting Polaroids and this will make your slideshow a lot more interesting. And of course, you can write down here if you want um, to describe what you can see in the Polaroid and use this to um, to tell a nice and interesting story. Okay, so now we come to our last trick, which is pretty similar to what I showed you right now. It's kind of repeating some of the steps. And this is, if you want to have yourself, of course, in your slideshare, say, hey, I am created this. I want to present this to you. We are going to do almost the same thing, but a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ellipse tool. Again, use the shift key. Uh, by the way, I can move this over here so I get the right size. So rectangle tool, use my shift key, and I'm now creating a circle, for example, like this. And then I'm creating a duplicate of that circle. So right click duplicate on the layer, click on the layer in the behind. Or oh, let's, let's uh, recolor the fill color of this one. So we're going to see um, the different shape of our behind layer, basically of our, um, how can I say, border. So let's drag this out and you can see this is creating a nice um, border shape. Uh, which, and you have to hold um, control and shift at the same time. So this is keeping the round shape. So now that we have created this, again, we could use our inside and outside shadows as I've shown you before. But basically the next step would be to use the picture and drag it onto our green ellipse. So now it's inside of this. And again, I would create a group for this. So select both layers and control G to select a group. And this makes it a lot easier to move around and to resize it or rotate it, stuff like that. And this is a fun look that you can use to present your name and who you are. So of course, with the blurred background now, you can write anything here. Um, artist Maria uh, was in London, something like this. I don't know, whatever you want to write into your slideshow, you can now present like this. You can see it looks really cool and fun and it's a very easy way to make your slideshows more interesting. So thank you very much for watching. This was the episode for today. And if you like my videos, maybe subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get informed because I do two new tutorials per week. If you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you can find a lot of interesting perks. 
So thank you very much and see you next video. Bye.